free and welcome to your next maths lesson. I want you to work out these questions on a piece of paper, so pause the video here. Okay, you should have the answers. Let's have a look at those. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 30 is 90. Now, I found that out because I know that 30 is 10 times bigger than 3. So I know my answer will be 10 times bigger than 9. Let's have a look at the rest of them. 1 times 8 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 3 times 8 is 24. So the ones on the right, I know each time they will be 10 times bigger. So 8, what is 10 times 8? It's 80. So let's make 16 10 times bigger. And you'll get 160. And finally, 24. Let's make that 10 times bigger. 240. Now look at the number track and you need to work out how much is it getting bigger each time? What is it going up in? 20, 40, 60. So I can see it's going up in 20s. So the next one will be 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. Okay, we should be feeling nice and warmed up by now. Let's have a look at these pictures. Each class has 30 pairs. How many are there in total? So, you need to do 3 times 30 to find out the answer. So you could do 30, 60, 90. Or you might have seen that 3 times 3 is 9. And you might have made it 10 times bigger. Here you go. So there are 90 pairs in total. What about this one? Each tray has 24 rolls. How many rolls are there in total? Hmm. So how could you work this out? Well, what I'm looking at is I'm going to multiply my tens first. So I know that two lots of 20 are 40. Then I'm going to multiply my ones. So two fours are eight. And then I'm going to add them together. There is another way we can do this multiplication and it's called short multiplication. So remember all the way back when we were setting up short addition, the column addition and column subtraction. Well, this is similar. We do it on squared paper and we put our tens and our ones at the top. The next thing you need to do is decide which number, which numbers we're multiplying. So here we're multiplying 2 by 24. Now with short multiplication you always put the biggest number at top, at the top. So there are two tens and four ones and they will go on top. Then you put the smallest number underneath. And don't forget to include the symbol to show that you're multiplying. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply the ones. So remember, in addition, we always would add the ones. But now we're multiplying. So 4 times 2. What is 4 times 2? Well, we've done it up there. And then you're going to put the answer underneath. Eight. And now, this is where it can get a little bit confusing. You're going to multiply the 10 by the 1. So you're doing going diagonal. What is 2 times 2? It's 4. So you should have the answer 48. So let's try a few more of these ones. 3 times 31. Remember, what do we need to do first? I want first thing we're going to do is we're going to write our 10 and 1. Here you go. Now remember, where do we have to put the digits? 
which number goes on top? Is it the same? Okay, so let's continue with this question. Three times 31. We can represent that using base 10 like this. But when we're setting it out as short multiplication, we will need to use our squared paper, write your tens and your ones at the top. And then remember which number goes at the top. Is it 31 or the three? So pause the video and have a think about that. Where will you put the numbers? Okay, so you should have worked out that the bigger number goes at the top. So you should have 31 and the smaller number goes under the ones because it is a, that there are three ones. Now, which numbers will we multiply first? Can you remember? So like addition, we always start with the ones. So one times three. And that is three. And the next step we need to do is we need to multiply the tens and the ones. So we're multiplying this number with this number. Not adding, be very careful, three times three. I know that's nine. And there you go. Let's try another one. 32 times three. I want you to have a go at this one on your own. So pause the video here. Okay, so when you set it up, you should have put your tens and ones at the top, like this. You should have put your biggest number at the top, 32, and then you should have put your ones underneath on the right, in the ones column. Don't forget to add your symbol in it. It reminds us that we're multiplying. We're not adding or subtracting. And if you forget to write that symbol, what do you think might happen? Yes, some of you might start adding and then we'll end up with the wrong answer. Okay, so let's follow our first step. I remember I need to multiply the ones first. Two times three. So you should have known two times three is six. The next step is multiplying the tens by the ones. Make sure you're multiplying the bottom, not the top. You're not doing three times two. You're going in a diagonal line. And this is the bit which we might find a bit confusing. Three times three is nine. So you should have got 96. I think we need to do a few more. Don't worry if you're finding this a little confusing. We'll go over this in our Zoom sessions. Now have a look at this place value grid. Can you see what multiplication I've represented using the place value counters? So have a look. Here's a video here and see if you can write the multiplication calculation alongside. So, I don't know if you heard the lady speaking. You, get on? you might have noticed that I've made 21, two tens and one one, four times. So our multiplication calculation needs to say 21 times four. Remember to start with the ones. Four times one is equal to four altogether. And four times two tens is equal to eight tens. So 21 times 4 is equal to 84. So I don't know if you could hear the lady just then, but have a think about the, the multiplication you would write. You might have heard her. How many 21s are there? Well, I can see there are four. So I know the multiplication I will be doing is 4 times 21. Now, I want you to work out the answer on your own. If you're in school, you can show a teacher. If you're not, show a grown-up so we can know whether you understand. Okay, so you should have got 1 times 4 is 4. Then remember the second step, you're multiplying this 10 with the bottom 1. You're going diagonally down. 2 times 4 is 8. So well done if you got that right. We're not going to do this one today. 
I think what I would like you to do is start the worksheets and if you get a little bit stuck it's absolutely fine but you can show me in Zoom or you can work with a teacher in school. Okay, have a good math session and I'll speak to you later.